Hi, real quick, I am back again. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what the judges are looking for in this contest. Um, I want to give you guys in the Video Coaching Center the most tools possible to be able to win. So, uh, my advice to you is to make sure you take good before and after pictures. Now, a key to this is making your before picture look as bad as possible and making your after picture look as good as possible. So. Um, if you really want to, you know, make those look exaggerated, you know, you can you can kind of not fix your hair, not wear much makeup, uh, make sure you're really white, um, maybe bloated looking, you know, maybe, um, you know, eat a big piece of pizza, take, you know, drink a couple beers, <laughs> take it the night before, I don't know, you know, or just maybe slouching a little bit more. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to get you to cheat and make your before pictures look worse, but... Um, I'm just saying, what I would do is I would take two sets. I'd take a set where you're, you know, looking, you know, trying to look your best, and uh, a set that where you're trying to look um, a little exaggerated worst, okay? So the before and after pictures are very important. So so take a little time and effort in making those. And uh, so so your key thing to think about are, are week one um, mini challenges to do those. So that's something for you to think about a little bit. Um, and then also uh, the other part of the contest is um, the final entry. Now to make a good final entry, I would make sure that you do your journaling ahead of time. Um, you know, like look at what the questions are now, kind of start thinking about those as you go along so you begin with the end in mind. And then also um, the other part of it is the, um, the uh, what am I thinking, the, the participation part, okay. The judges of the contest are all leaders in Team Buff Mother. The leaders of Team Buff Mother are in the rally room. If you're visible, blogging, posting, commenting in the rally room, they're going to notice you more. They're going to notice, you know, they're going to have get a personal connection with you. And, you know, of course, it's all for, for good in, in the long run. I mean, you need to be posting. You need to be, you know, encouraging others. But if you make an extra effort to be very visible to them, um, you don't know who they are, right? <laughs> but all I can tell you is that they're leaders in Team Buff Mother, so that could give you a little idea. But, you know, um, most of those women are in the rally room. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you really, really want to win this contest, um, you know, that's those are, are some key points for you. And a little insider hints from me, because I'm not the judge. I mean, I, I have five judges. They're going to each write down their top three picks on a piece of paper. I'm going to put those top three picks from each of the five judges in a hat. So there'll be 15 pieces of paper in there. I'm going to pick it out, and that's who wins. I'm not responsible for deciding. I can't possibly decide. I can't be unbiased and I can't I can't you know you know usually what happens is we have somebody that is just the obvious winner I mean like last year Brenda was just the obvious winner there's no way she didn't win I mean and, and same thing with our last contest or firecrack and hot contest the obvious winner was my sister-in-law <laughs> and I mean I didn't expect her to be but she was I mean she just did it she did awesome she was the winner everybody knew it and so did I. So anyway, but um, I'm hoping, you know, when we have uh, so many people in the contest, it's hard to tell. So anyway, good luck with that. Hope you win. Bye.